a bunch of kids on Marshall's campus learning about all sky related things this afternoon. Yeah, it was a really interesting day and Chelsea was there giving a little hands on weather lesson too and she had some props which is kind of what we wanted to talk about right now. Yeah, the, it, there was everything there. Uh -huh. The group that was a room over from me, they did, yeah. they learned about the sun. I talked about meteorology. There was rockets, planetary sciences, like all kinds of stuff that dealt with the sky. Wow. One of my Very favorite cool. things about the sky is mm -hmm. our clouds, right? Of course. So we have a demonstration to to uh, learn how clouds are formed. All right. So there are three main things that take uh, to make a cloud. Do okay. you happen to know what they are? Um, a bottle of 70% uh, no. alcohol. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we need water, right? Obviously yes. water vapor. Uh -huh. We need lifting. So okay. we need the air to be going okay. up to make up a cloud. Up to the atmosphere. Okay. And then we need what's called a cloud condensation nuclei. And what is that? what's the English behind that? Yeah, it's basically a microscopic dust particle. Okay. So that the cloud can can clap onto something and grow. Okay. So instead of getting dirt and water vapor, so it condenses faster, we're just going to use rubbing alcohol. Right, and it's green, it's so gonna, it'll show up better. Uh, no, 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 no. Not necessarily. No. I thought that's why it's, you went with the green. No, I went with green because it's mint and it, it smells better than regular uh, okay. alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it does smell a little bit. Only, better. only thing. Not much. So basically, we have. Um, we're putting that in our bottle. We got to get our atmosphere all moisturized, okay. right? Okay. Okay. Oh, so that therefore you essentially have to like soak down the bottle. Yeah. Okay. So now we have basically our bottle with our uh, what will turn into water vapor. Okay. So here we have this. All right. So now high pressure are, is happy weather, right? Okay. So we have happy weather when we pump this here. Tim, you want to be my pumper? Sure. Yeah. So you hold the bottle, and you pump, and then it. this is just like a, a foot pump for yes, a, a it's bike. A pump. A, yep. It's a bicycle pump. So okay. pump that. So high pressure, happy skies, right? Nothing happens. Keep pumping it. Keep pumping it. But then when we have low pressure and we release it, a cloud will form just as fast as. Okay, ready? Yeah. Whoa. See? Oh, low pressure, clouds formed. Oh, now, oh, high pressure takes back over, Tim, pump it, and the clouds go away because high Look pressure is sinking air. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. I bet you the kids, would, kids would have loved that because oh I gosh. like it. Yeah. I know the little like kids are kid. like, can we touch it? I'm like, yeah. can you touch clouds? Not really. I mean, it's just kind of like yep. fog otherwise. That's the thing about, you know, when you make science interesting for kids, yeah. it, it then all of a sudden it becomes relatable to them. So. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. And their reaction, yeah. I mean, even adults are like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah. And it's just fun because I was like, all right, so now we learned about this. Now mm -hmm. this is how we forecast and now forecast this is right. now where we're at. A lot we of clouds today. Put into our forecast, that's right. So yeah. now that we know how clouds are formed, this is what's going on today, right? We right. have the rain, low pressure, and showers stick around with mm. us as we continue on overnight tonight.